Good morning everyone. So today we are going to deal with the second module that is introduction to the speaking skills. Speaking skills is a very one of the most efficient skills that you should have in order to communicate your ideas effectively and also in order to speak easily and effectively uh, you need to have very good skills in the aspect of speaking. So the primary aspect of any kind of communication is to speak easily and effectively so that your ideas get communicated with uh, with the person with whom you are speaking in a more effective and in a correct manner. Effective speaking is very essential for both your academic success as well as your professional success. More than that, in order to express your ideas clearly and effectively in interviews and in professional spaces, which varies in different contexts, you need to have very good speaking skills. Good speaking skill, in fact, boosts your confidence level and it also increases your chances of getting promoted or having a hike in your salary or winning a debate. So it is a very crucial aspect in personal interactions. In, if you want to excel in your speaking skills, constant practice as well as developing a very good vocabulary really matters in order to be a very good speaker. And also, the efficient speakers are welcomed by the audience much more than any other normal speaker or a mediocre speaker because audience attention can be retained by efficient speakers for a long span of time. Many people with good speaking skills in fact rule the world and the contemporary times. Examples are like Oprah Winfrey, Robin Sharma and Tony Robbins and in fact many people who do uh, the stand-up comedies in fact on the political satires do have a very good speaking skill. The ability of speaking very fluently with a natural flow of words, appropriate words, as well as your wit, it inspires people across the world and they pay much more heed to you. In fact, in this era of technological advancement, there are immense opportunities, uh, new exciting career choices for those who have good speaking skills. While you're trying to enrich your speaking skills, there are certain major areas to be focused upon. Number one, it is pronunciation. The issue of pronunciation mainly affects those people who speak their mother tongue. For example, we Malayalis in Kerala speak English, but most of the times our vocabulary is in fact affect or our speaking is in fact affected by the influence of our mother tongue. So it is unavoidable that the influence of our mother tongue creeps into our pronunciation. Non-native speakers of English have evolved different types of English in terms of pronunciation. For example, English has become a common language in India. However, the English spoken by a person who is speaking Tamil language is distinct from the English spoken by a person whose mother tongue is Hindi, which is mainly because of the influence of mother tongue during, the, uh, during their speaking. So, it, if the discrepancies in pronunciation is too obvious, it might uh, in affect the conversation by making the conversation awkward, very jarring and as well as miscommunicating, very difficult to understand the ideas that you are communicating. Therefore, it is imperative that we should keep steps to polish our pronunciation and make it very clear and comprehensible. That means it should be understood by others. For this, listening is a very fruitful exercise. We can listen to TED Talks, YouTube and podcasts, uh, as well as watching movies, English movies and documentaries and TV shows will in fact help you to improve your pronunciation. And also, repeating whatever that is said by the speakers can be practiced. Uh, in fact, imitating others during the course of time 
will help you to improve your language and once you get the structure of the language you in fact will help uh, you in fact will help yourself in making your own ideas and your own sentences so language teaching apps like duolingo forvo and pronunciation studios would be helpful in achieving this kind of uh, you know a, a, a good pronunciation first process in order to improve your speaking skill is to listen and imitate try listening to the native speakers of english and imitate their pronunciation use video documents or even movies uh, this will help to slowly internalize the pronunciation and become a, a seasoned speaker during the course of time practicing tongue twisters would also be helpful funny act it's a very funny activity but a great uh, helpful device in order to improve your pronunciation it will help you to increase the ability to articulate clearly and quickly the ideas that you want to convey to your listeners now recording your speech record your speech and listen to it later so you yourself can identify the areas where you mispronounce and cor correct them by yourself after pronunciation another area in which you should improve yourself in order to enhance your speaking skills is grammar grammar can be a, a big problem for the non native speakers of english because um, they are influenced by the grammatical structure of their mother tongue language so it is it on this kind of errors in grammatical usage can be solved only by the constant practice and learning um, uh, in fact the whatever methods that we use for improving our pronunciation skills too will be helpful in correcting our grammar moreover grammar quizzes read, reading widely and consistently using online tools for checking grammar like grammarly or ginger apps can help identify and rectify your errors next it is through regular practice practice speaking every day it will help in internalizing the grammar rules reading aloud and engaging in conversations with your peers in english language will in fact help you to enhance your grammatical knowledge and apply them in your while you are speaking english language now using of simple sentences complicated phrases are rarely uh, used or uh, complicated phrases or rarely used words it will not make you a great speaker in order for you to become a very good speaker you need to resort to simple language and common vocabulary in your speeches uh, instead of using very flowery language aarku manasilavatha vaakkalu manasilavatha reethiyilulla വാക്യങ്ങൾ കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് മാത്രമല്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അത് മാത്രം ചെയ്താലേ നിങ്ങൾ ഒരു ഗുഡ് സ്പീക്കർ ആവൂ എന്നല്ല സിമ്പിൾ ലാംഗ്വേജ് പറയുന്നവരും അതേപോലെ തന്നെ കോമൺ വൊക്കാബുലറി യൂസ് ചെയ്ത് സ്പീച്ചുകൾ നടത്തുന്നവരും വളരെ പ്രഗത്ഭരായിട്ടുള്ള വാഗ്മികളാണ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് ഹെൽപ്സ് ഇൻ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസിംഗ് ഗ്രാമ മിസ്റ്റേക്സ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് keeps the audience engaged while you use simple language and common vocabulary now engage in a slow and calm speech speaking too fast lead to avada uh, tuned spelling mistake ana t w o too fast might lead to grammar errors and overlapping of your ideas so practice speaking very slowly this will enable you to plan the next sentence or idea and being too slow again to the spelling t w o ana being too slow can also lead to boring as well as distracting the audience so therefore again a spelling mistake t h e r e f o r e therefore make sure that you choose your pace of uh, communicating your ideas or the pace of speaking very correctly the next one it is vocabulary vocabulary means having appropriate words for you to communicate your ideas effectively fluently and effectively A rich vocabulary will boost our communication skills and this enables uh, us 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 okay us to express ourselves clearly and accurately so we communicate the wrong idea instead of the intended meaning due to the use of a very wrong word so in order to avoid this mistake you can use appropriate vocabulary and you can do this by enriching your vocabulary so it is important that we develop a strong vocabulary to become an accomplished speaker it helps us uh, to sound very confident and persuasive that means namakku namal parayna karyathil namakku or confidence um baakiyullavare 
നമ്മൾ പറയുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ വെച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് ചെയ്യാനും പെർസുവേഡ് ചെയ്യാനും നമ്മൾ പറയുന്നതിൽ വിശ്വസിപ്പിക്കാനും നമുക്കൊരു നല്ല വൊക്കാബുലറി ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതുകൊണ്ട് സാധിക്കും സോ ഇറ്റ് ഹെൽപ്സ് എസ് ടു സൗണ്ട് കോൺഫിഡൻസ് ആൻഡ് പെർസുവേസ് ന Extensive reading, keeping a vocabulary notebook to note down new words and their meanings and conscious use of these words in communication are really time-tested methods to improve the vocabulary. So listening to audio books and podcasts, language apps like Duolingo and Quizlet would also add to enhance your vocabulary. Now in order to increase your vocabulary, you can keep a vocabulary journal. Keep a journal or notebook, note down new words that you come across, write the meaning, synonyms and make a sentence using words in it and review your journal from time to time to in order to imprint or by heart those words and their meaning into your mind. Now next one it is practice sentence creation. Create new sentences with the new words in your vocabulary. This will uh, help you in easy framing of sentences while speaking. Next is to practice synonyms and antonyms. Always make sure to find out a word, uh, I mean a words, word apostrophe as okay, words, synonyms and antonyms which will help you to in again increase your vocabulary. Next one it is fluency that means being able uh, to speak fluently in a very free and uninterrupted manner is one of the strongest attest of, uh, sorry asset of all public speakers so most people stammer for right word or phrase while speaking in any other language therefore a constant and deliberate practice and developing the courage to move out of our comfort zone are the requirements to be fluent in foreign language For this you have to practice speaking in English with friends or peers on a daily basis and using English to think right and speak uh, w r i t e right and speak whenever possible okay will also help us to become more fluent so practice speaking with your peers that means your friends so that you can improve now for improving the fluency keep on practicing you might not be confident to speak in front of a crowd or to the strangers in the beginning so try talking to friends classmates or family members you are you are there is again a spelling mistake it's not you are it's you are y o u r your speed and correlation between thoughts and speech will be honed by time that means will be improved with the passage of time next one it is active listening active listening means conscious listening so listen carefully for international pronunciation and common phrases um, while converting with uh, sorry while con, uh, conversing c o n v e r s i n g conversing with the native speakers watching movies and documentaries and listening to podcast again will help you to improve your uh, fluency Uh, and also it improves your language skills next one it is to participate in public speaking participating in public speaking competitions will enhance and accelerate the speaking skills as well as improve the fluency of our speaking now the fifth one that you need to improve while speaking is appropriateness the correctness that means use the appropriate words at the appropriate time keep attention to the context the situation in which you are speaking and to whom you are speaking the audience very sophisticated speaker should be conscious of the context in which they are speaking be mindful of the age knowledge level and interest of the audience being humorous and incorporating Uh, it's not jobs it is jocks j o k e s jocks into the discourse are part of good speaking skills but it is necessary to look into the context of speaking also appropriateness respect to the audience and their socio cultural and political sentiments are important qualities for a good speaker now in order to improve the appropriateness you should know your audience primarily you should know the audience and design the speech or presentation it's not r it's or 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 presentation accordingly age profession and cultural background of the audience should be kept in mind equally important in a personal setting to be mindful of the audience to keep uh, away from uh, hurting or insulting them next you should be aware of the cultural context awareness of the socio cultural context helps to avoid words phrases and ideas that might be of any socio uh, that might be hurting for any socio cultural or religious group timing means 
be conscious, be -E, be conscious of the time allotted uh, because time is valuable. You should not exceed the time slot. Your time as well as the audience time should be valued. Make sure that you do not monopolize the conversation. Allow others to talk and present their ideas. Untimely interruptions and unnecessary digressions should also be avoided. That is ideas interruptions um adey pole thane avashyam illanda parnirikkuna main topic il ninnu validhi vera oru topic ilekku pogunnadum okke nammal avoid cheyanam be mindful of the nature of presentation that means be aware of the formal structure or the nature of presentation the manner and the way of delivering speech or presentation will be different from that of a friendly conversation or meeting Now the sixth one in order to improve your speaking skills is organized thoughts. Don't give your thoughts in a very illogical manner. First organize your ideas, your thoughts and then project it in an appropriate logical and sequential manner. Uh, so you have to have your thoughts and ideas organized in your mind before you enter the stage because it is an essential prerequisite for effective speaking. Unprepared speech uh, it diverts a lot and might end up being at the at the loss for of words. Uh, first of all, you have to calm your mind and organize your proposed speech. This will help us get the appropriate words at the right time and keep us from blurting out statements in appropriate to statements in appropriate, not appropriate. Okay, that is a single word statements in appropriate to the audience. Next, just design a clear and compa uh, compelling introduction. C O M P E L L I N G, compelling introduction. That means invest your time in designing a good introduction, capture the attention of the audience, and think about a simple, S I M P L E, simple story or anecdote related to the topic. Use a tricky question that will hook the audience to the topic. Think of another innovative idea that will give strength. To, to, to your introduction. This will help in boosting the presentation as a whole. Now, while you're speaking, while organizing your thoughts, identify the purpose. Be focused on the purpose of your presentation throughout the session. First, fix the purpose of your presentation, whether it is an entertainment, information, persuasion, or inspiration uh, uh, level kind of talking. So then vocabulary, body language, and speaking style appropriate to the purpose can be adopted. Next, it is having a clear outline. Having a clear outline of the presentation, uh, that means introduction, and then giving the key points, and then concluding properly, will help make the presentation logical and connected. This will help you in having a free flow of ideas and information. Now, have a well-prepared conclusion. Being well-prepared on how to conclude the presentation gives a very lasting impression upon the audience. Audience speech conclusion speech. So, it is beneficial to have a strong closing statement. Suggest your readiness for continuation of the discussion on a personal level over the phone or via email because this will make the audience recognize your genuine interest in the matter and will in turn be interested. Next one, it is practice. Practicing several times increase confidence level, polish voice modulation and help you remember words and phrases. And it will help you in adjusting your body language and cut out those aspects of your body language that might be irritating or distracting for the audience. So it is necessary for an impactful and fluent presentation. Now the last one in order to improve your speaking skills is engaging the audience. Keep attention of your audience. A bored or inattentive audience is the failure of a speaker. So keep the audience engaged or even spellbound. 
the entire confidence and attitude of the speaker helps in creating a first and lasting impression so well modulated and even voice delivery is a key factor in keeping the audience hooked to your talk selecting the topics and language appropriate for the audience is really important the presentations must be tailored according to the level of the audience so if you are trying to motivate or inspire your audience the kind of motivation that each group of audience require will be different thus the topic selected examples and language used should be uh, appropriate for the age appropriate for the audience as well as the age group comprising the audience now in order to improve the effectiveness use of interactive techniques is important should never the uh, speaking should never be one sided active participation of the audience is the life of any session so the speaker should give space for the audience to speak express their points of view and feedback ask occasionally questions give light assignments and tasks that will require the audience to move from their seats give group assignments etc now maintaining a proper eye contact is really important speaker's eye contact with the audience will convince the audience of the genuine and earnest nature of the speaker so it expresses openness commitment to the topic discussed and the confidence of the speaker the use of the effective body language use gestures facial expressions and movements to emphasize points and convey enthusiasm amongst the audience positive body language of the speaker uh, made the presentation more engaging and help illustrate the message that the speaker want to convey to the audience more effectively now the use of the visual aids powerpoint presentations charts and images enhance and make the presentation more attractive it helps in simplified presentation of complex ideas and aids in uh, stressing important points so well designed visual presentations can retain the attention of the audience and help them concentrate much more to the topic that is being spoken by the speaker now speaking skills is one of the major pillars of effective communication thus thus it's not 10 it's thus 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 it must be mastered m a s t e r e d mastered with practice and effort it also helps to gain fame for example with good presentation skills and speaking skills many radio jockeys television presenters bloggers and content creators have attained good fame amongst the uh, public okay thank you and that's all about uh, this introduction to the speaking skills